about a scenario where you get a new cooker online but discover it is damaged upon receiving it. Despite a one-year warranty, the seller refuses to exchange or refund the amount for that particular merchandise. To combat situations like this, the Consumer Protection Act was established in 1986 and came into existence on the 15th of April 1987. Unlike other laws which prevent an event from occurring, this act is compensatory. Any customer who has faced issues will be compensated for the same through this. Who in relation to the medical community do you believe is considered liable for this? As you can see in this picture, it includes all professionals who have an independent practice, who don't give free treatment, and all private hospitals that charge their patients, along with hospitals having free as well as paying patients and patients who avail the services from such hospitals. Lastly, practitioners or hospitals who are paid by an insurance firm for the treatment of a client. Although, if a hospital and the practitioners there offer free health services to all patients, they are exempted from this act. Three forums, one each on the district, state and country levels are separated by this act. When a consumer files a complaint with a particular forum, within 90 days from the date of notice from the opposition party, a judgment is usually passed. In case a certain complaint requires further analysis or testing of the products, the judgment may take up to 120 days. The claim amount is different for each level. It follows a ladder pattern. At the district forum, one can claim up to 5 lakhs, while at the state commission, the amount can range between 5 to 20 lakhs. A consumer can claim an amount of over 20 lakhs if they approach the national commission. Now, note that the Consumer Protection Act was amended twice since its establishment in 1987. In the first amendment in 1993, it was stated that unless a complaint is filed within two years from the date of the problem caused, the forums should not entertain the complaint. Further, it also permitted the opposition party to present its case without the help of a lawyer. The Consumer Protection Act, amended in 2002, helped increase the claim amount at different levels. So now, the claim amount is up to 20 lakhs at the district level, 20 lakhs to 1 crore at the state level, and over 1 crore when taken to the national level. Let us now break down each forum for a better understanding. Talking about the district forum, it consists of mainly three members. One of these is the president, who either is qualified or already has been a district judge. The other two members, one of whom has to be a woman, are people of ability and adequate knowledge regarding problems relating to economics, law, accountancy or administration. This forum can take up cases where the value of the goods or services in question and the compensation claim, if any, do not exceed 20 lakh rupees. The complaint may be filed either by the consumer to whom the services were provided or by any recognized consumer association irrespective of whether the consumer is a member of the association or not. In case there is a large group of consumers with the same interest, with the permission of the district forum, one or two representatives can be chosen from this group to file the complaint. Moving on to the state commission again, it consists of three members. One person who is or has been a judge of the High Court is chosen as the President of the State Commission. The other two members with qualifications and experience similar to the District Forum members are also appointed within the state. We know that the claim amount at the state level ranges between 20 lakhs to 1 crore. So this forum clearly will have jurisdiction over complaints where the value of the services and the compensation amount falls within this range. Apart from this, if a consumer is not satisfied with the district forum's judgment, they can submit revision petitions to the state commission, which will then have complete jurisdiction over it. It should also be noted that the state will rule in favour of one side based on the merit if the other party fails to appear in person or through an agent or advocate. Additionally, the consumer has a window period of 30 days from the date of judgment to file an appeal with the National Commission if he is dissatisfied with the State Commission's order. The National Commission will not take into consideration an appeal filed after the specified deadline unless there is a valid excuse. In contrast to the other two forums, the National Commission comprises five members. Those who are or have served as Supreme Court judges are chosen to be president. 
Only after consulting with India's Chief Justice is the President chosen. The other four members, one of which must be a woman, are selected on the same basis as that on the district and state levels. Since the claim value at this level is over 1 crore, the National Commission has the jurisdiction to entertain complaints where the value of goods and claims, if any, exceeds Rs 1 crore. It also entertains revision petitions and appeals against the judgment of the state commissions. To file a complaint with the National Commission, primarily certain details should be presented by the complainant in person or by his agent to the National Commission or could even be sent via post. The details should include the name, description and address of the complainant as well as of the opposite party. It should also include the facts relating to the complaint along with documents to support their allegations. Lastly, the claim that the complainant demands as compensation should also be included. Even after this, if any person is not satisfied with the order of the National Commission, they may appeal to the Supreme Court within 30 days from the date of judgment. If the appeal is filed after the said duration, the Supreme Court will consider the appeal only if the consumer has a valid cause for not filling it previously. Let's have a quick recap. Remember the analogy of the three forums resembling a ladder. For claims up to Rs 20 lakhs, a consumer must first seek the district forum as per the 2002 amendment to the Consumer Protection Act. They can then climb up the ladder and appeal to the state commission if their claim is between 20 lakhs and 1 crore, or if they disagree with the district forum's decision. Consumers may take another step and turn to the National Commission if their compensation demand exceeds Rs 1 crore or if they are still unhappy with the State Commission's decision. If a circumstance arises when the person is dissatisfied even with the decision of the National Commission, he may file for a final appeal to the Supreme Court. In conclusion, the Consumer Protection Act is an important law that protects the rights of consumers and promotes fair trade practices. It covers a wide range of issues related to consumer protection and provides several ways in which consumers can seek redressal for their grievances. By being aware of their rights as consumers and exercising them, consumers can protect themselves from unfair trade practices and ensure that their rights are respected. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.